About one decade ago, I learned a lesson from a book which changed the way I see life and success. It goes like this. If you want to become successful in life, you have to focus on being and doing before having. Let me explain what this means. Most people want to have stuff. They want to have money. They want to have a great marriage. They want to have a good health. They want to have everything. And that's the problem because having is the last thing. The very first thing you have to do is to become. You see, it doesn't matter how many times you've heard it. It might have become a cliche, but it's still true and will always be true that people who have certain results think and behave in a certain way to have and maintain such results. How you think affects the results you get. People who have excellent health think and behave in a certain way. People who are overweight behave in certain predictable ways. People who have great marriages build it on trust and commitment to each other. You can predict that a million times. People who have a lot of money delay gratification. You can be sure that's true for a million million years. So it's safe to say, what we are is what we have. That's why Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Today I'm going to share with you a few habits that changed my life. I hope they will change yours too. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. 1. Worship Your Morning The 34th United States President General Dwight D. Eisenhower's philosophy is that a man who doesn't finish half of his day's duties by 10 a.m. has lost the day. Since when I was young, I have always cherished or even worshipped my mornings. I'm writing the script for this video some minutes to 6 in the morning. I've been up before 3 a.m. today. Before most people start their day, I would have finished 80% of what I have to do today. If you start honoring your morning, your life will change. The reason why cherishing your morning will change your life is because hours in the day are not the same. 7 a.m. isn't the same as 7 p.m. Your brain is at full capacity after a night of rest. But as we get into the afternoon, we are faced with a million physical and emotional distractions that affect our productivity and even our ability to think. For example, nobody calls you by 5 a.m. to say hello and since the world around you is silent, you can do great work. One simple rule that can help you is to never consume news or social media at the early hour of the morning. Do something worthwhile in the morning. Do your most important work before 10 a.m. Worship your mornings and your life will change. 2. Postpone pleasure I know how to enjoy life. I have a good or even high taste. I love luxury or good things. But I'm different from most people in the sense that I can postpone pleasure. I sacrificed all my 20s. I didn't live a normal life. I never bought anything fashionable. I never spent time to enjoy at any moment. Instead, I did some of the most difficult things. I went after my dreams and shut my eyes to the pictures of my friends on social media. Most people want to eat their cakes and still have it. Most people want to get without giving up. Most people want to make easy decisions and still have an easy life. Well, sorry, it won't work. 3. Collaborate John C. Maxwell said, One is too small a number to achieve greatness. I lived my last decade with this motto. I never do anything worthwhile alone. I always look for who to partner with. I always look for brains to pick. I always look for who to depend on and I always look for who to add to my team. Most people were trained by a school system which essentially made them a lone ranger. Two are better than one because they have a better reward for their labor. That is what my Bible tells me in Ecclesiastics 4.9. Let me tell you why you can't succeed alone. You are too small. You are also limited and you have too little time. Having the habit of curiously searching for partnership and collaboration means that you are looking for people who have strengths to cover your weaknesses. It means you are looking for people who know what you don't. It means you're looking for ways to multiply your strengths and time. Again, the Bible says one will chase a thousand and two will put ten thousand to flight. 
Three people working together will achieve more than five people working individually. It's the simple truth. 4. Spend time alone. I know people who wake up 5 a.m. every day, hurriedly have their bath and commute to work via public transport. They report to a noisy office, close from work and return home late to watch a few minutes of TV, go to bed to resume the same cycle the following day. That is a busy, wasteful life. If you don't spend time with yourself, how are you going to know who you are? If you don't spend time to assess your life, how can you be sure you're living? Plato said and I quote, Unexamined life is not worth leaving. Show me a man who is always busy and I will show you a man who is too busy. Even if it's going to be a few minutes every day, spend time to think and examine your life. If possible, live and work in an environment where there is no noise because creativity hates noisy and you can't be successful in any field except you are creative. 5. Sleep well I admit I started this video stating that I wake up 3 a.m. and that you should cherish your morning. But what do I mean by sleeping well? Well, here is how it makes sense. Your brain is by far the most valuable asset you will ever have. For that powerful machine to function well, you need a good sleep. Don't be deceived by people who claim to sleep only 4 hours per night and are still hard working. They are not hard working unless they have a few hours of nap during the day. Winston Churchill was one of the most significant figures of World War II. He knew he had to be active almost all day, but he also understood the importance of good sleep to his brain. So, Churchill demanded that people around him allow him to have two hours of nap every day, excluding night sleep. Albert Einstein is considered one of the greatest scientists of all time. Well. This is one of his secrets. Uncle Einstein slept 10 hours every night. Yes, 10 long hours per night and a short nap during the day. Now you see what I'm talking about? Although you must cherish your morning, you must also sleep well. What I do to balance this is to go to bed very early. By 8 p.m. last night, I was already on my bed. I also sleep at night many days. If one of the greatest scientists in the world slept long hours, if one of the best World War II generals valued good sleep, then sleep can be what you need to be more productive. I hope this video helps someone. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. We love you.